Man, this is a ratchet hood soap opera drama. This is crazy. Cat Stacks. Cat Stacks, bitch. Stays in some shit. She's like a fly. She's always in some shit. You know, the legendary quote unquote hip hop groupie, which I don't like calling her that. I like calling her a hip hop businesswoman. But anyways, she has some issues with her. I guess he's her ex-boyfriend now. Miami Mozzie. Never heard of him. But she posted an image of one of those hoverboards, scooters, iHawk. What is it? What they call IO Hawk, Funky Ducky, Funky Duck, something like they call them a bunch of different fucking names. Basically, those things that are like a scooter with no handlebars that you stand on, you back and forth, you plug it in, you charge it up. Anyways, she posted an image of one on social media. She said, and I quote, if you see at Miami Mozzie riding around this hoverboard, I bought it for him because he begged me then left. (gasps) Yes. She said that he had her buy that shit for him and then just left her ass at the mall, stranded. Okay? She went on to say this in a different message on Twitter. She said, and I quote, if someone beats at Miami Mozzie ass, I will pay you $500 cash. Check his Instagram or Google him. He's a promoter and posts where he's at every day. Come get this money. End quote. <gasps> We got chicks sending people $500 through PayPal to whip that ass over a goddamn scooter. Oh, my sweet Lord Jesus. Welcome to 2015, where girls don't just get their brother or their cousin to whoop your ass. They'll pay some stranger $500 on the Internet to track you down on MapQuest and beat your motherfucking ass over doing some foul shit like stranding her at the mall after buying you an expensive gift ain't that some shit technology is something i bet you the people who started twitter facebook the creators of the internet nobody probably sat up there and had like a boardroom meeting and said the reason why we created these programs is that one of these days hip-hop groupies will hire strangers and pay them 500 dollars via paypal to whoop that ass of their ex-boyfriends who stranded him at the mall after buying him a toy man this shit is entertaining i hate to say it but this is some int- listen i'm gonna have to follow the story of what else is going on with this couple because this shit is some next level bullshit i mean we between what he's doing and then she's sending out messages to people random people on the internet look man beat his ass i give you five hundred dollars now i added the paypal part she didn't say via paypal but how else is she gonna get it to somebody western union or or what but anyways at the end of the fucking day this shit is interesting this is why she needs to be on a goddamn reality tv show who else is doing shit like this this is buck fucking wild now i don't i'm not promoting violence or anything like that i hope nobody actually accepted the offer i saw somebody saying something to the effect of they wanted to accept the offer but they I don't know. They have some some sort of excuse why they couldn't do it. Maybe they were in a different state or something like that. At the end of the day, <laughs> I hope that nothing happens. However, their relationship is interesting because it's like a reality TV show that we get to watch for free 99. It's not even like they're advertising anything. This shit is just wild. It's like, what the fuck is going on here? But hey, this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Have you ever had this type of situation happen to you and your man or you and your woman? Has your significant other ever left you after buying them a toy it could be a sex toy it could be a goddamn barbie doll hey it could be a broken barbie doll in the bargain bin with no fucking head has this sort of thing ever happened to you at all or a similar story i would love to hear about it let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com i'm gonna have to have cast stacks on my radio show she will call in i would love to interview she's always in some shit like a fly and it will be an interesting interview because you know i interview celebrities and whatnot nowadays but anyways let me know what you think about it below meat magazine